Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to Sweetwater's iOS Update. This time out, a new app for creating tablature for guitar and other instruments. Let's get started. Our app today is Tabular, which allows us to create tablature and music notation for guitar and other instruments. Let me show you one of the demo files that comes with Tabular, and then we'll look at how you actually go about creating tablature. This is just a simple 12-bar blues, but it actually includes a lead guitar, a rhythm guitar, bass guitar, and drums. I'll play you back the music first. So you can hear that's just very basic MIDI playback of the tracks. What we're looking at here is a 12-bar blues. We've got our lead guitar track here first. If we click up here, we can see the other tracks as well. We've got a rhythm guitar part. And you can see that there are both chord charts, notation, and tablature here. We can also select bass guitar. When we open that up, it also gets music notation as well as tablature on a four-string staff. And then we can open up drums. And for drums, we can have both music notation and a tab staff that allows us to see the separate instruments. So we've got kick drum on the bottom line, snare drum on the next line, hi-hat on the next line, and crash cymbal on the top line. So that allows us to create basic drum parts as well. All those playback simultaneously to give us a multi-track playback of our piece of music. Let's take a look at how easy it is to create music with Tabular. We'll go over here and open up our library. And I'm actually going to grab a stylus, which makes this a little easier. We'll select a, a new song. And we'll just give it, uh, that's fine, we'll call it an awesome song. Open that up, and we get one bar of music here. Now we can add more bars to this to make it longer. Simply click on this, and then we'll do that. Now that we've got three bars of staff paper created, let's go ahead and input some notes. First, we do that by selecting the note division that we want. And that's over here, and we have a choice ranging from whole notes down to, it looks like, about 128th notes. And we'll select simple quarter notes. Now to input notes, we just tap on the guitar fretboard, and that will be converted into both music notation as well as to tablature. So if I hit the second fret on the G string, it will show up here on the tab as well as on the, uh, the notation on the top. We can step to the next musical division and add a, a B there on the same string. Then we can jump up to the uh, G above. And you can see that as it's adding that, it's appearing on both staves. One more. We can create chords by tapping on more than one fret on the guitar neck simultaneously. So we're on F there, and we'll add a, a B flat here. And so we can create chords very simply and easily. Now we have full undo and redo capabilities. There's a menu here that gives us undo, redo, copy, cut, paste. We can paste before, paste after, we can paste over, we can merge, we can split different uh, staves as well, duplicate things. So you have a lot of options for creating your arrangement by simple cut and paste. But we also can change our, we'll go to our next division here, and we can change to say eighth notes. Do a couple of those so that we get a chord. Step to the next one. We'll go to sixteenth notes and once again, we can add those in very quickly and easily. And we'll finish out the measure with a half note chord. So it's very simple and very fast for inputting your music. Now when you're done with that, you can play it back and hear what it sounds like. So we'll rewind and play. Now we also have capability for working with the display that we have here as well. We can click on this menu selection, it gives us triplets, it gives us dotted note values. We can add slurs, we can add ties. So if we want to have these first two notes here tied together, we can have that be a slide actually if we like. And it adds it in there automatically for us. And we can tweak that as well. We can add vibrato symbol, we can add uh, harmonics if we want to change the note to a harmonic. We can add a let ring notation. Here's a bend notation, so we can tell it what we're going to bend to. We'll be done with that. We can add chord symbols, and you can configure the chord symbols however you like. And it will insert those for us. We can also drop in text notes if we want for our performance. We can add accents. We can add uh, slides into the fret, we can add a slide away from the fret, 
Then we have a variety of musical symbols that we can add in as well, measure notations like repeat signs. Uh, we have different sharps, flats, key signatures. Here we have division notations, so different uh, rasqueados you can add in. You can add in strums with a direction either up or down speed that you want that to take place at, palm muting, octave indications, we can also add trills, ties, and again more bends and things as well. So you have a lot of capability for really shaping your notation and your tablature exactly the way that you want it. Once you've finished with your piece of music you can save it either into the library or to the cloud and when you have it in the cloud you can share it with your computer very easily. But you also can share it by going up here and hitting share and then you have the option to email, to text message, or to print. When you click on email, you're given the option to send it out as a tabular file, as a PDF file, as an ASCII file, or as a MIDI file. Here's an example of a PDF file that I sent over to my computer by email. There are a variety of other options available as well. If we click back up here and go to settings, we have a practice mode, we have a metronome we can turn on and off, you can loop measures of the piece of music, you can have a count in. So several different things here, especially if you're using this as a practice tool. And in fact, the library comes with a wide variety of examples, including musical examples, we've got technique exercises, warm-up exercises for guitar, so a variety of things there that show you what you can do when you're running tabular on your iPad. If you want to create music where there's more than one instrument playing at once, you simply hit the new track dialog, you can choose that by hitting the plus, and when you do, you're given a variety of different options here. First, you can name it, and we'll just leave that at electric guitar. You can choose the appearance or the icon that goes with that. There are a lot of different things you can scroll through. You can choose a preset for a different instrument. Here's one for a basic rock kit, for example. You can show the full staff. You can show just the tablature, so you can hide different things there. Uh, so you have a lot of options for customizing things before you even create the staff. Now, once you do, hit the done button, a new staff will be created, and it'll be drums in this case, so we're done. Now to enter drums, it's a little bit different. We have the four instruments here, we again choose our note division that we want to use, and then you click on the drum that you want to use. So we'll hit kick drum, move to the next, we'll hit kick drum, alright, and then we can add a, a snare, add hi-hat above that, step over here and hit our crash cymbal. So it's very easy to input drum parts as well. If you're looking for an app that allows you to create music notation and tablature, especially for guitar, but also for other instruments, Tabular is a great choice. It's a free app, and then there are premium in-app purchases for other features that you might want to add. But even with the free app, you can do all the music creation that you really need. I hope you've enjoyed this installment of Sweetwater's iOS Update. Be sure to tune in next time. We'll have more apps, more hardware accessories, and more tech tips on making music with iOS devices. I'm Mitch Gallagher.